Hey guys, it's Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to solve a differential equation using the method of separation of variables. And so we can use the method of separation of variables to solve a differential equation when we can write our equation in the following standard form. And the reason for this is because in this case here, we can go ahead and move all of our y's to the left-hand side. So here we would have dy over h of y, and then we can move all of our x on the other side. So we would have g of x times dx. And from here, we can actually integrate both sides and get our solution y to our differential equation. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. So in this first example here, we have dy over dx is equal to x over y. So let's start out by doing some cross multiplication. So we get y dy on the left hand side and on the right hand side we end up with x dx. And so from here we have all of our y variables on one side and all of our x variables on the other. So we can go ahead and integrate both sides. So let's do that. Okay, and from here the antiderivative of y is just y squared over 2 and the antiderivative of x is just x squared over 2 we have plus a constant. And from here, let's go ahead and solve for y. So let's go ahead and multiply our entire equation by 2. So we end up with y squared is equal to x squared plus some constant. And from here, we can go ahead and take the square root of both sides. So on the left-hand side, we're just left with y. And on the right-hand side, we have plus or minus the square root of x squared plus c1. And that is our final answer. Let's go ahead and take a look at this last example. So we have dy over dx is equal to x plus 1 squared. So remember, we want to get all of our x variables on one side and all of our y variables on the other side. So in this case, let's go ahead and start out by multiplying both sides by dx. So we end up with dy is equal to x plus 1 squared dx. And so from here, we can go ahead and integrate both sides. And so the left-hand side just equals y. And the right-hand side, we can solve for using a u substitution. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can go ahead and set u equal to x plus 1. Taking the derivative, we get du is equal to dx. So this integral becomes the integral of u to the second power, and so that ends up being u to the third over 3 plus a constant. So plugging in x plus 1 for u, we get x plus 1 to the third power over 3 plus a constant. So we can go back here and write our solution. So we have y equals x plus 1 to the third power over 3 plus c. And that is our final answer. So that is how you use the method of separation of variables to solve a first order differential equation. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.